Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter and today's video will be the installation of the Thermalrite Archon onto my AMD gaming rig which is now mounted on the high speed PC tech station. And I'll give you guys a look at that in just a second. However, I just wanted to go over uh, what I'm going to be installing. Basically, you got the Archon heatsink itself here on the right and then we have the AMD mounting hardware here which seems a little bit simpler than the Intel. However, these springs are really stiff, so that should be quite interesting. This is actually the first AMD heatsink that I've ever, or aftermarket heatsink that I've ever put on an AMD CPU, honestly, since I've been into computers. Got so many Intel builds I've had. I mean, I've put, you know, OEM standard heatsinks onto AMD, but that's no big deal. Alright, anyway, we got the instructions, of course, because, you know, it's always good to read those. And the fan clips, I might end up using those now. However, later on, I think I'm going to use a different method whenever I attach some different fans. But for now, I think I'm just going to try out the stock thermal right 140mm fans, push-pull. And we got some thermal right Chill Factor 3 thermal paste. I find it to be pretty good. Okay, well, I've gotten all the cables off. Everything's been stripped down, cleaned up, and I'm ready to take the motherboard off and remove the bracket. Then I can install the Thermalrite Archon. Alright, well I'm just about to install the cooler and pretty much goes on just like the factory cooler minus the fact that you don't have that latch anymore. Same style backplate and I have to get this piece here after I put the heatsink on and then use these, screw it down to the aftermarket back plate and you can see here there's the stock AMD mounting hardware very simple to remove alright the Thermalrite Archon CPU cooler is installed and it was actually easier than I expected so now I'm just going to throw the motherboard back onto the high speed PC tech station I just want to show you guys how big this cooler is this is a massive single tower cooler setting it up default single TY 140 1300 RPM alright I just wanted to finish this video up by giving you guys a look at the tech station all set up and running as well as give you guys some temperature results real quick. Alright, we got Prime 95 running. I've had this running for almost an hour. And room temperature currently is 29 degrees Celsius. As you can see there on the task manager, we are running 100% small FFTs. And our temperatures are 39 degrees Celsius with a max of 40 degrees Celsius. Our clock speed is 4 gigahertz, running a multiplier of 19.5, bus speed of 206 megahertz, at core voltage of 1.472 volts. I just wanted to let you guys know this. Let me know your input and let me know what you guys think. Thanks a lot for watching. Lots more videos to come. You guys have a great day.